Hi folks, back again. I hope this stuff is in focus, or maybe I don't even hope it's in focus. I'm sure the audio will work, and that's supposed to be the important part. Just want to spend a few minutes here. Uh, this is 15 or 16, I'm not even sure which. I wanted to talk about two people, Uri Geller, G-E-L-L-E-R. For you youngsters out there, he was around back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. He's still around, just in sort of a different form, so to speak. And also this guy, James Hydric, H-Y-D-R-I-C-K. Now, both of these folks are uh, psychics, or whatever you want to call them, and they do things with their brain power, or whatever. Now, Uri Geller, he was famous for bending spoons. Yeah, he could, uh, like, bend spoons. He would hold it, and he would do all this business, and, of course, the spoon would bend. He also had this deal that he would make a compass move around, you know. Uh, he would get down over the compass and he would make the compass move. Well, er, obviously, uh, here's my question. If you could do things with your brain power or power or whatever you want to call it, is this the best you can do? Bend a friggin' spoon? Make a damn compass turn? I mean, if I had brain power and could do something, obviously, and I have no brain power, otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here being like a moron, but if I did have brain power, I would do something more than bend the damn spoon. I mean, I would sit here and uh, have my dishes washed, have my clothes cleaned, have my house cleaned. I mean, I would do all those kind of things. The best these this moron can come up with, he's going to bend a spoon. He's going to make a compass spin. Anyway, let's get to this James guy. James, where is he? Anyway, James Hydrick. He. Uh, on national television, I can't remember, Merv Griffin, I don't know who it was, but anyway, this is a program many, many, many years ago. This is back when James Randi had a $10,000 check he carried around. Uh, James Randi, uh, if you read, uh, or not read, but if you looked at one of my previous uh, rantings, has the James Randi Educational Foundation. And now he has a prize of $1 million dollars if you can prove any of this baloney, this psychic stuff, or what have you. Back in the day of James Hydrick, uh, James Randi had a prize of, I think, ten or $15,000. I can't remember which. Anyway, uh, this video, by the way, is available on YouTube. Just go to YouTube and put in James Randi, put in James Hydrick, or whatever his name is, and you'll be able to see this. And it's really kind of cool. Uh, on national television, James Hydrick sort of challenged Randy, or Randy challenged him, or whichever. Now, where Uri Geller uh, bent spoons, made compasses spin, this Hydrick guy made a pencil move and made, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, made pages in a phone book flip over. I couldn't make this up, honest. Hey, I didn't make this up. It's on YouTube. Go take a look. Anyway, so, uh, on this national television thing, <clears throat> excuse me, with college professors sitting there, you know, to, to monitor this, uh, James Hydrick does his deal, which is he goes up, goes through all this baloney. Oh, he's got this weird haircut. He's got, like, bangs cut. He's got oriental kind of clothes on and all of that kind of stuff. And he goes up and he makes the pages in a phone book flip over. Now, <laughs> and made this pencil move. Okay. If, if I had all this brain power and could do things with my brain, I'm going to say, oh, I'll make some phone pages flip over. Anyway, so he went through his little deal. He made the phone pages flip. He made the pencil move. And uh, then it was time to introduce James Randi. So James Randi came out and he said, uh, you know, hi, how are you, shook hands, all that kind of crap. So what James did, Mr. Randy, excuse me, he took these uh, uh, styrofoam pieces, you know, like these peanuts that are packed in packages we get from Amazon and these other places. He had a bunch of these things, and he just put them around the, uh, the phone book that Hedrick was going to, you know, blow, you know, well, make the pages move. Okay, he put those things around there, and now it's time for old Hedrick to do his deal, which is mental power, 
make these pages move. He goes up, he goes through all these contortions and all this kind of business, and you know, like he's really doing something. And he, he did this several times. Then he finally said, wait a minute, I think this is what he said, the lights are doing something. And of course the uh, 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 the person on the show, I can't remember who it was, looked to the experts sitting over there, the college professors, and they said, no, that has nothing to do with anything. The long and the short of it is this real simple. Hedrick didn't do the trick because obviously, ladies and gentlemen, he was blowing to move the pages. And if he did this, you would see the styrofoam move. So, I don't know. I don't even know why I wasted my time on this one. But the long and the short of it is this. It's real simple. Come on, folks. These people can't do dick. Uh, there's just nothing out there. I mean... Eric Geller didn't spend a, didn't bend a spoon. If you want to know how to bend a spoon, put in a, put it, put in a search, Google. I mean, everybody will tell you how to bend a spoon. It's no big deal. And this other guy, he's blowing. Real simple. And anyway, as Pat Condell would say, peace.